Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Coding Decoded. My name is Sanchez Rodeja. I'm working as technical architect SD4 at Adobe. And here I present Russian Dolph Envelopes problem. And apologies, I couldn't solve it in the morning and provide you with the solution as I was quite occupied with my professional commitments. I just got the, some buffer time and now let's shoot for solving this question. Uh, to your surprise, we have already solved this question in the month of March 2021. This problem is based on the concept of longest increasing subsequence. Longest increasing subsequence problems can be solved using two approaches. One in time complexity of order of n square, one in time complexity of order n log n using patient sort. For all those who are not aware of these two techniques, don't worry, we already have another tutorial wherein I have explained both these approaches in detail. And in the past solution of Russian dolls, I talked about order of n square approach, which is no more accepted on lead code. So if you go and check this code up, you will see that out of 87 test cases, only 85 pass. So let me just comment that up and show it to you guys. And then we will go on improving it using the patient sort approach. So let's submit this up. And it will fail with the error of time limit exceeded. If you go and check the details, then 85 test case passed out of 87. And if you go and check this video, uh, it, it, here the solution passed a year back. They added two more test cases in order to make sure that all the solutions are of time complexity order of n log n. Now comes the question, how can you actually solve this up? First and the foremost thing is to check out the longest increasing subsequence video where I have explained and taught patient sort. Once you get good hold of the concept of patient sort, then move back to the Russian doll envelopes problem because most of the test cases are still getting solved by this approach and it's very important how longest increasing subsequence algorithm is getting applied over here. Once these two things are done, now come back to this solution where we will try to improvise it in time complexity of order of n log n. So uh, few things remain the same. The first and the foremost thing is that we are sorting the envelopes on the basis of width then followed by height. So width in increasing order and then height in decreasing order. So remember this point, this is very important. Uh, why we are doing this i'll talk about it later in the solution so here i've created a dpra and this dpra will actually store the maximum height seen so far we have initialized this dpra with maximum value of integer and by default dp of zero is initialized to zero so let's consider the case where the first envelope comes is of height seven so what we will do we'll apply binary search over our dpra wherein all the elements so far are maximum and we are basically keeping track of the maximum height of envelopes that we have seen so far. So the first one comes as 7. What do we do? We apply binary search algorithm and look out for the appropriate position for 7. What is the appropriate position for 7? It comes at as 0. So we go ahead and add 7 at the 0th index. So it, it gets added. So how many envelopes have we added so far? We have added only one envelope. So the answer becomes 1. Now consider two cases. In the first one, three comes, and in the second one, eight comes. So let's assume that uh, we treat the second envelope as three. And what do we do? We check what is the appropriate position for this set, uh, three. So we we get again zero. So in this case, it will be replaced. The zeroth index will be replaced by three. We will simply go ahead and replace this seven by three, and the answer still remains one. So this is exactly same what I taught in the patient sort algorithm. If you have not gone through it, you will not be able to get it. Otherwise, in case, in the second case, if we get an 8, so we will so look out for the appropriate position for 8. It will come as the first index and the envelope width DPRA will get updated to 7,8 and the rest of them will set a, remain as maximum. So far, how many envelopes have we added? We have added two envelopes and the answer becomes two. Let's treat another case where from 7,8 we get the next height of the envelope that we get is of one unit. So what do we do? We check its appropriate position. The appropriate com position comes at the zeroth index. 
so in case one comes up uh, the envelope will be updated in the dpra as 1.8 this is exactly same as i taught in the patient sort so guys i i urge you guys to go through it first and uh, the dpr is updated to this however the total number of envelopes added still remains the same that is 2 so the answer still remains as 2 in the other case let's assume 10 came instead of 1 so what is the appropriate position for 10 it is the second index therefore the dpr gets updated to 7 comma 8 comma 10 and the rest of the fields remains the same the answer gets updated to 3 because here we have added 3 envelopes so far and this is what has been done over here using the binary search technique so here we iterate over the envelopes array and remember the envelopes are already sorted in increasing width so we are not concerned about the width of the envelopes what the area of concern is only height and in order to provide unnecessary manipulation we have sorted them in the decreasing order of height whenever there is a conflict so that the one with the higher height and same width gets precedence uh, so, so what do we do we search for the appropriate position for the current envelopes height in the dpra we when we get its index we update dp of that particular index to the height of that envelope and uh, we keep track of the length variable as we are progressing in the dpra so this is pretty much it and this corner case that they have written is because when the binary in while searching in the binary search uh, that element is not present so if you go and check the documentation for binary search you will see that whenever the element is not present it returns the insertion point minus one so this method returns the index of the search key if it is contained in the array else it returns insertion point minus one so in order to counter this up uh, we have added negative signs over here so that's pretty much it in the end we simply return the length that we have computed so far the time complexity as i initially told is order of n log n same as that of the patient sort with this let's wrap up today's session and i hope you got some idea on how to apply patient sort patient sort onto a russian doll envelope problem thank you